Hey, Alex Brangler, and welcome back to Gladius. If you recall last time we entered the region of Nordog. And, uh, as you can see in the top, uh, it says Nordog. And there's a big green swath. That's where we're at. So, yeah, we're in Nordog. Um, just got here. Got the talisman. Got some equipment upgrade. And now we're ready to take on some of the games. So let's take on the Kingdom Open. Uh, see, okay, so you need four cups here. And there's only three leagues in this whole region, in this whole city. So you can do the circle championship that I talked about last time and get all four right away. Uh, but you need to beat the Kingdom Open anyway. So I figure you beat the Kingdom Open and then you beat this one. Uh, this one, uh, like the one in Imperia that requires Imperials, this requires that you have Northerners. And some of them require four people, so you need to have at least four Northerners. Uh, right now we have Ursula and Cyprian, that's two. So we need to pick up two more. And we will. We will. Don't worry. Alright, so Kingdom Open. Let's take it on. Let's take it on like Donkey Kong. And uh, let's take, do Rival Nations. This is a new type of battle. Uh, we get, we're going to be exposed to a lot of different new kinds of things. Ooh, level 5s. Dang, girl. Tough stuff. Um, We can do that, though. Belgrim. Ooh, we got a heavy type. And, uh, red background is from the third region, which I won't spoil you yet what that is, but just letting you know. So we got medium. Ooh, they're very balanced. Okay. And, uh, Nordog, generally speaking, is a lot more open about their, their recruitments. So that's nice. Uh, Ursula's really behind in level, though. So I guess we should put her in a couple. Uh, Langston might be able to be used here, I believe. Yes, it's time for Langston Hughes! <laughs> Alright, so the goal here... Um, you see these spots here? These are statues. So basically, the goal here is to defend your statue and destroy the opponent's statue. Uh, you can also kill the enemy school, but, you know, it's more fun to try to kill their statue. So basically, your job is to try to kill the enemy statue and uh, protect your own. Just a cute, cool little game. Uh, Langston is going to tank. Langston is going to blitz there. And we're going to put Ursa and Cyprian behind. And we're going to try to uh, take down their statue. Or just kill them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's an interesting type of battle. Because uh, you can't just go full out. Because the, the AI likes to track your statue. If they can. So they will go after your statue. So you got to defend it. Don't ask me again. Uh, we can move around here, try to get some damage off on the statue. She's going to sit there, try to defend it. Uh, Ursula has high kick, which is an interesting move to attack. It's just like... It basically doesn't do anything special. And you can't even get a swing meter for it. It's just a normal hit. And it does okay damage. I really don't like it. Spell Blast costs a lot of skill points, but you can hit a lot of things with it. It's really good for... Uh, it doesn't do that much damage, but if you can hit it... Uh, if there's a lot of enemies nearby, you can definitely do some good damage. She's got Empower Self. She has Summon Shield, which is interesting. If her shield breaks in battle, um, she can summon it back. And uh, it'll stay back for the remainder of the battle. Well, it can, it can break again, and then you can summon it again. But... Uh, but after the battle, your shield won't be back if you summoned it. But, uh, she got on guard, which increases defenses until her next turn. She got combo tag 1 and 2, and yeah, she doesn't have any affinity, so. We can make her water type, I think. And they're blitzing for us. Uh, Bethag here is going to try to defend, and that should leave Ursula open to be able to attack. And there we go, there's the uh, revenge arm. Oh, you get two? Oh my gosh, look at that. You get two counterattacks for every attack that do, that she attacks me with. So <laughs> once I have my counterattack, if they block, I get three counterattacks off. And each counterattack gives you affinity too. So that's a really good way to bend a. That is really good. Dang. No wonder why that costs so much. Uh, can't quite reach anyone with Quirinius, unfortunately. So we'll just pass. And Langston Hughes. Uh, I think we won't cut off Quirinius. 
Well, I don't know. Let's go over here. And uh, Langston with his cool helmet of doom. Take a big swipe at this guy. Do some good damage there. Nice job. And he's going to come back and help, I guess. That's cool. All right, so we'll, uh, Cyprian will take on these guys. And Ursula will go after the statue. It's going to be the goal here. Some good damage. And Corinius should be able to finish him off with... I probably didn't need a long throw three, but what the heck. Some practice with these button mashings. There we go. Ugh. Look at that da- Oh my gosh, look at that damage. Corinius, stop. You're insane. And she's going to try to make it to the statue. Uh, Ursula can go hit the statue. And uh, their statue's called Home, our statue's called Away, because we're the Away team. And you're going to throw an axe. Okay, so axe throws are really interesting. You can just throw it diagonally or horizontally. You hit a lot of things. So he decided to throw an axe all the way over here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. But uh, another running attack should do some good damage. 41 damage is not bad for a uh, light type. Bethag realizes that Ursula's going after the statue, so she's going to try to stop. But it's not going to work. Lynx is going to take another hit off of this person. Unfortunately, Langston has a level 4 weapon, so he's not doing that much damage right now. That's okay. He still does pretty good. And Quirinius will get... Mm, could do Exploding Javelin to hit behind. Because I don't want to move, because then she'll get access to the statue. I'm effectively blocking her from getting to the statue. So, I don't want to move. And then Cyprian can come over here and do massive damage. 81. Nice. You're going to strike me, and that's fine. There's just going to do combo attack 2 on the statue. Take it down really nicely. Almost dead. So unless they stop Ursula, we're going to win. And we might be able to kill. We might be able to kill. If I can get a crit, this might kill. Because let's do like 2.5 times damage. Oh yeah! <laughs> Langston Hughes! <laughs> Alright, so Ursula's going to seal the deal here with another combo attack. And we will win. Because we took out their home base. And killed three other guys, so that's pretty good. Victory! Good job, guys. So Rival Nations is an interesting, fun little kind of game to play. Good amount of money, some good XP, P P P P P P P. We're gonna have to put Ursula in a lot of battles, aren't we? Uh, this is a points battle with four teams. Uh, the fourth team is yellow. Dominance is interesting. Tax relief. Oh, which ones do I want to do? I like tax relief because there's treasure chests on the ground that you can pick up. But, uh. I think we'll do dominance. And then we'll do the uh, king of the hill one. Alright, so dominance is, uh. There's three, con there's three hot spots on the map. And basically the objective is to control. Uh, basically, if your gladiators stand on the hot spots, they get a point, like after every couple turns and the goal is to get the most points so you want to set up on multiple hotspots so Quirinius would be good for this but I think other people need XP more like Ursula he's just so far behind Jihan needs some Cersei and Cyprian okay uh, so it doesn't really tell you where they are but Okay, so that's their level four. I think we can take him out in one shot. Uh, yeah, the alternate alternate objective is to just kill everybody, which is what I'm gonna try to do. I think just because that's a lot quicker. But uh, 
you know, it, it, it sometimes it's fun to do the normal objective, but uh, sometimes it's fun just to go murdering, you know? Go a murdering. And GN's gonna be doing lots of damage with his new spear, so we'll be able to see some of that. He might be able to one hit kill. No. So there's a hot spot here, hot spot over there, and hot spot over. Here. Yeah, we're we're a lot closer to just kill them. So I'd rather just kill them. Oh, I think the AI will probably try to make a run for the spots. And like I've said before, adrenaline when their health is below half. Ooh, he's gonna go first. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! I want to get a good back attack off. Oh well. Well, Cersei, it's your job to take him out. Okay, they're going straight for the points. Um, may have to just actually go for the points. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Jihan. Jihan. Calm down. Jihan. Jihan. Jihan! Stop! Stop! The murder. Okay, so the bear's gonna run this way. Ah, we can get in front of her. Nice. And take her out. Very good. Good job, Cyprian. There we go. Now we just have to stop there. This guy. Yeah, he's gonna chill up there. Now he gets a height advantage. And, uh, bears are medium types. Uh, they, they do take a lot of damage, though. They have lots of, uh, good resistance. They have some really good moves as well. Especially late game. They're actually pretty good. But, I don't think I'll be picking one up. Because I don't want to. So there. And he's gonna jump down. Why? I don't know. But I do know that Cersei's gonna get some Mega Mundo Mondo damage. So. There we go. Good job. So we just killed him, you know. They had more points than us, I think, because he was on the uh, domination stand. They probably had one point. But. Doesn't matter. Because we defeated them out. <laughs> Alright, let's do Hill Cop Kingdom. Uh, basically, it's a similar kind of thing, except there's a big stack of crates that kind of cascade up, kind of like a mountain, and the very top you have to stand on. And it's going to be interesting, because there's two different teams, so it's going to be three on three on three. Uh, so this can be pretty grab baggy and uh, random, which is always fun. Blaze still doesn't need XP from when he did that, uh, <laughs> the Survive Chiquita. It's pretty impressive. Uh, and Cersei again. Okay. If I recall, the hill's around here somewhere, so I'm just gonna position my guys. Ooh, what can, who can Cersei take out? Who's the biggest threat? Uh, Gungears are really, uh, Peltas and stuff are really good at this kind of thing, because they can just... Shoot the guy that's on the hill and take him down really easily. So, taking out the gun gear will be really nice. If we can. Marita misses the water affinity gun. Yes. Okay, it's kind of a small hill. So, basically, you just have to stand down here and get points. Or just kill the whole opposition, which is kind of hard when there's two teams of three. It... Generally speaking, you're going to want to go for the hill because you're not going to be able to take them out in time. But Cersei can take one out. And then Ursula should be able to be the first to make it up there. And Gian will have to guard. And what the heck? Uh, usually they don't fight each other. But Let's I guess go. this time... They will. Cersei will be able to make it up there and should be able to survive. And oh boy. Oh, right. For a second, I thought he was facing someone. Never mind. Um, sorry, sir. 
You're a level 3, getting attacked by a level 4 heavy type. With a level 9 weapon. And that's what I was saying about the weapons. Um, it's basically... The weapons are based on your... Oh, no. Are based on your school's tier, not your... Or your school's level, not your gladiator's level. Which is just weird. But... Jeez. Gosh. Dang it, seriously. Alright, so I'm gonna empower self. Get more defenses so I don't die. Because I don't want to move off the hill, naturally. Uh, what the heck? Let's go take out this guy. Uh, and then red team will be dead. And the dramatic music is going to play because the whole team is dead. She's going to attack. I'm going to block. Very nice. Uh, okay, so here's an interesting situation. You might think, okay, going down here and attacking from the back gives you a disadvantage, right? But with Backstabber, it's actually more worth it to attack from here to here than from up here to here, as you see. This will be doing quite a bit more damage. Although it doesn't really calculate, well, you'll see. It is more worth it to do this, so. Cersei with the kills. Three kills. Nice work. Gonna throw an axe. Not gonna do anything. Nurse is gonna pass. Jihan is gonna kill this guy. Kill this girl. And uh, we actually did kill everybody and got the most points. So, total domination. Nice job. Kingdom Open Badge. Reinforced Targ. Uh, some good stuff. And Valens leveled up. Cool. Uh, I'll probably sky assign skill points when everybody reaches level 5, like I've done before. And uh, that's one out of the three key badges that we need for this region. It's already making some good progress. Um, I don't want to make too much pro. Actually, how do I want to do this? Because there's stuff I need to do in other towns. So we're just going to leave. Actually, I probably should have bought a helmet. Yeah, let's go buy a helmet for Cyprian before I forget. He won't need one for the rest of the region, so. Get the next. Ooh, actually. Oh, no. That's a lot lower level. Never mind. 8 HP does make a difference. Especially when you only have 107, so. Good stuff. Uh, body armor gives you a lot of HP, so my guys are going to be pretty low in HP, because they all have, like, level 1 body armor, but, you know, they get more initiative and movement, because they're not wearing heavy armor, but. Alright, I'm not going to go back to Roranor, actually. I'm going to check out all thags, again. But, we're going to go, we're going to go crazy, and we're going to go somewhere else. You'll see. Alright, let's see what you got. Got anything new? Oh, we don't have money, anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Oh! They have the nose ring. Alright, let's get it. Uh, the bull ring doesn't actually do that much. To be honest. Like, it says it gives you, uh, extra power in battle. It's not really that good. So, I wouldn't worry about it. Olympic necklace range up. Ooh, that is good. Increases his, uh, throw throwing range. Gladiatorial red. Mm. Yeah. I think, I think that's gonna be Cyprian's, uh, accessory for the rest of the game. Just the pure damage output from that is too good to pass up. Especially on a light type, because light types have the best defense. Or, they dodge the best in my opinion. So, 
got one thing. And we're going to walk all the way up here. All the way up here. Oh, uh, there's another town there. We're going to ignore that one for now. There is another town in that cave, actually. Believe it or not. And we're come over here to the icy area. And we're actually going to go into this town. And we'll be like, what are you doing? But, uh, yeah, we need to go into Vargan first, actually. And take on some of the stuff here. Mm, I think we can get... I feel like we should be able to get a good weapon for Langston here. No. Oh, I wish we had enough money for that. Can we sell stuff? Oh, we... We, we got one for free. That's right. Uh, oh, actually, we can equip that on Ludo. So we can go to our school real quick and equip that stuff that we got. Uh, basically, in this region, we'll start getting a lot more loot from battles, like a lot more equipment loot. So we'll be able to get a lot more money off of that and uh, get some good stuff. Generally speaking, they don't give you that good stuff to wear. But they do give you good loot. And, uh, yeah, look at this difference. 32 HP, 3 defense. We lose 7 initiative, though. Which is actually pretty big, but, uh, I think it's definitely worth it. And Ursula is gonna take on a water weapon. 8 more damage. Water affinity. Um. Oh, yeah, she wanted to be air, didn't she? Oh, well. It's a good weapon. And uh, you'll see why I'm equipping it to her right now. I just usually I usually make her water affinity, so I didn't remember for a second. Anyway, let's enter the Fjord of the Fallen. Welcome, young warriors. You look like a daring group. Have you traveled here to see Vargan's famous Valkyrie? This place is home to a Valkyrie? Yes. Please go on. My grandma yes. used to tell tales like this. She told me if I was born in another age, I could have been a Valkyrie. Well then, Princess, allow me to tempt you with the exploits of the Vargan Valkyrie. If you look out to the west side of the arena, you can see a small glimmer. Rumor has it that it is the final resting place of Galtir, supreme warrior of the legendary Valkyrie. Really? Grandmother used to speak of her. Before the Great War, she used to sit on the peak and watch the games. The men battled fiercely to try and win her heart. After the battle with the Dark God, it is said her spirit returned to Vargan, where she spends eternity watching over the battles now fought in her honor. That's a beautiful story. Grandmother used to tell me fables like that. I believe she was- Grandmother right. this, grandmother that. You have a certain quality about you that I've never seen before. It's <laughs> that's uh, not much to recruit here. Yet. You might be wondering, okay. This is all we got. As long as we don't have to clean up after him. So... We have to do a series battle here, survival series, to actually get access to the rest of the, uh, the rest of the place. This is actually somewhat common. And we have to use these guys. Level ones and two, what the heck? Alright. Um, I don't recall it being that easy. <laughs> I knew that, I knew this series wasn't that hard, but, um, Okay. So yeah, we get 12 members, and we capture the 10th level, and we're gonna fill it up. So don't worry. Let me get a little cutscene. There it is. I can see your spirit watching us. I think you're right. I feel a special connection to this place, like I belong here. 
You two should focus more on the fight and less on searching for ghosts. There is more to life oh, than the battle, my friend. All right, so level ones and twos. I'd laugh if Ludo didn't go. Oh my gosh, Ludo's so slow that he can't even go before level ones and twos. Nice job. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have given him that armor. I don't know. Yeah, his initiative is pretty anus. But uh, this would be a good way to build up some affinity points for the tough. The third battle is actually pretty hard, if I recall. So hopefully, we should get some stuff for that. Almost killed. I think that's a level two. Oh no, four damage. Oh snap! You missed. And Ludo will be able to finish him off. See, even with that, F, even with that slowness, he still gets turns relatively quickly. So, not that big a deal. He's gotten as many turns as everyone else has. And a nice good old combo attack. Super overkill. But why not? Wave defeated. It is so nice to defeat waves. Alright, what do we got now? Level 2. What the heck? I don't recall it. I think. Ready yourselves, I don't know. Weaklings. I don't recall it being this easy. I think maybe the problem is that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it was this easy this whole time. I don't recall really. Or, see, what I'm thinking is, what happens is, uh, for the Nordog schools, this is supposed to be, like, an easy thing to get into, maybe. And then, do some good stuff with. I don't know. So, uh, because there are some battles where the enemies have set levels. So that is possible. But I don't recall. Uh, we'll actually use Spell Blast here, just so I can show it off. And it's a new type of bar, the mash meter. So basically you have to mash A and then B and uh, try to get your desired result. I'm actually really bad at these, so I try to avoid attacks that have these meters. I won't get crits very often. I'll try, though. Oh, I got it there. Nice. So that looks pretty cool. It takes four skill points, and it doesn't do that much damage. So it's not super useful. But I figured I'd chill it up there. All right, wave defeated. So hard. Now this should be a challenge here. Look at this guy. Level three, two, two. Well, sure, I guess. So, increase movement initiative when you're other wolves. It's basically a wolf thing. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is for. This is just a set level battle for Nordog schools. I don't see. I don't really remember enough about this game to know if that's true or not. And Ludo's gonna go this way. Take him on. Because I was thinking they'd be our level, and I was thinking, okay, we might be able to. We should be able to win this, but we definitely will be able. To. Look at how much. Look, look how little that does. I don't know, man. It's just not worth it in my book. Combo attack just does a lot of damage. And actually, Ludo gets to go again, somehow. <laughs> Destroying the wolves. Sorry, wolf. Ooh, he's got, he's got a lot of health. Greater beasts generally have a lot more health than other gladiators at their level. So... 
even with our skills, we're still still having trouble. You wouldn't have done that much damage. Uh, I can show off high kick here too. Show off how useless it is. Wee! Yahoo! Twenty-one damage for three skill points. Like I said, Ursula's move pool just disappoints me. Ludo can come over here. And can we finish this off with air affinity attack? We will. Uh. Victory is ours. Bum, 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 bum. And see, there we go. We get a lot of equipment for conquering leagues now. And Ludo leveled up. Okay. Okay. She's level five. Oh, and Jihan leveled up. Very nice. Cersei level. Oh, we're gonna get lots of levels apparently. Very cool. Nope, oh, just those two. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're open to everything. As you can see, we get Circle of Elites one, Circle of Elites two. We can't participate in those. Uh, but Trial of the Elders actually. Is something that I need to do. So basically, this is how this is how Ursula is going to catch up. Uh, we have to beat up a bunch of Yetis and Ursula can do it herself. But I think we'll do that next time on Gladius. So join us next time as we battle the Yetis and see if Ursula can prove herself worthy to them. So thanks for watching. Bridnode signing out. Have a good day.